hello everyone and welcome to my channel like always so now for this bracelet it's a little bit advanced but it's still really easy so I hope you guys like it and we're gonna start so the only knots that you guys have to know to make this bracelet is a forward knot and a backward knot so that should be really simple so you're gonna need 10 strings, 5 colors, 2 of each. Okay, right here I have orange, this peach color, blue, green, and brown. Okay, and right here I made the loop. If you guys don't know how to make the loop, I actually have a video in English on how to make the loop. Okay, so let's start. Um, you're gonna put the strings just like you're doing a chevron since like the title, it's a diamond over a chevron. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab the first string from your left side, okay? And we're just gonna make a simple chevron. So I'll, if you guys don't know how to make a chevron, I actually had a video on how to make a chevron on my YouTube channel. So I'll have all the links down in the description. So with the orange, okay, you're just gonna make four forward knots to the strings, okay? So it's the peach, one, two. three and four there you have it so now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but instead of forward knots we're gonna do backward knots now just make sure that it's the same order as this side so it's like peach blue green and brown okay so we grab the orange string and we'll make four backward knots. So here's one, and it's blue, two, and three, and four. Okay, so once you have this, the two orange strings are together, they're right next to each other, so you just unite them. It doesn't matter if a forward or backward knot since the two strings are the same color. Always, always do a forward knot for this. Okay, so there you have it. It's a simple chevron. Okay, so now, this time, we're going to grab the first string. Again, this time it's a peach color, and we're going to make three forward knots. So, one, two, and three. There you go. Now we're gonna stick to this side still, okay? So now we're gonna grab the first string, and this time we're gonna make two forward knots. So one, and two. There you go. Then again, the first string, this time it's a green one, and we're just going to make one forward knot. There you go. Now, we're going to grab the orange string, the middle one, or the last one, however you guys want to call this string. And this time we're going to use the string and we're going to make 
backward knots to all the strings. So a total four backward knots, okay? So we're going to the left. So there's one. There you go. So now we're gonna make this, we're gonna do the same thing. The other side, the right side. So first string. Okay. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing, only opposite knots. So right here we did forward knots. So this time we're gonna make backward knots. So three backward knots with the peach string. So one. and three there you go okay so now we got the first string again this time it's the blue and two backward knots one and two Here we have it, and then first string again, which is the green one, this time only one backward knot. Wait, one, back knot, there you go. Okay, so now, remember, we're doing exactly the same thing that we did on the left side. So, we're gonna grab the orange string, or the first string, and we're just gonna make forward knots. Since right here we made backward knots, this time we make forward knots. So it's four forward knots. One, two, three, and There it is. Okay, this is what you're supposed to have. So now we're just gonna complete that chevron that's in the background. So how we're gonna do that is we grab the strings that are in the middle, which are the two. So you know there's like a backwards B right here. Well, right at the tip, there's the two peach colors. Okay, you grab them and you just put them together. Doesn't matter again forward, backward knots, doesn't matter. There you go. And now, we just made this knot, so now I'm gonna grab the next, from your right side, the next string, which is the blue. And we're gonna make one forward knot. Like this, okay? So now we have to grab the other blue, so that way we can complete the chevron. Here it is, and we make one backward knot. Like this. And again, the two are together, so we unite them. There you go. Now we grab the next string. So so we're going from the middle to the outside. So the next one is the green one. So this time we're making two forward knots. One and two. Like this. Then we go to the other side and just make sure to grab the same color string, okay? So I use the green one 
here's the green one and it's also the one that's next okay that's so we make two backward knots so one and two there you go the two are together so I'll make a forward knot just like this and now last it's a second string one two and we're just gonna make three four more nuts one two And three and this is actually the last step I know right now it doesn't seem like anything but I'll show you guys so now we grab the other brown one which should be the second one two and we're gonna make three backward knots so one The two are the two brown ones are next to each other. So now we knot them together. There you go. See, and this is it. <laughs> After this, you actually repeat the same steps. So I know it doesn't seem like anything. The diamond's not even done, but that's because we're just gonna start from here. See? So how we started, we started with an orange chevron, and that's how we're gonna continue with so let me just show you guys so here's the orange we're exact we're doing exactly what we did here and we're gonna make four forward knots okay there you go so now we do the same thing but with the other orange one and this one's gonna be four backward knots so Now the two orange strings are right next to each other, so we knot them together. And see, there's the diamond. So now we're just gonna continue with like making the three knots, three, three forward knots, two and one, three, two and one, and then you just continue like that. So I'm gonna explain really fast the steps here. On for the left side okay so first string three four one knots so basically you're just avoiding making the knot to the orange string so just think of it that way so one two and three we stop here because we don't want to we want to leave the orange alone there you go now the next string, which is the blue, two forward knots. There you go. And then one. See, this is what we're doing right here, okay? Just to show you guys so now we're repeating the same steps so now we grab the orange from the middle and we do four backward knots so one two three and four there you go see so it's exactly the same thing that we did right here okay 
So you actually have to repeat the steps like a couple of times so that you can see how this design is coming out. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, but remember it's just the opposite knots. So right here I did forward knots, right here I'm gonna do backward knots, right here are backward knots, right here I'm gonna do forward knots. So I'm gonna do that really fast, just so this video is not long and boring. Here we have it, see? So now we're just gonna complete the chevrons that are in the background. Remember, we just started from the middle and that's how we grab next string. So for example, we start from the middle. You see the V that's backwards, that's right here. We, we grab the two peach colors and we tie them together. There you go. So now we grab the next string, which is the blue, and we make a forward knot, like this, and then we grab the other blue, and we make a backward knot, just like this, okay? Now the two are together are next to each other so we will tie them together again doesn't matter if the forward or backward knot it's still the both strings are the same color so it's gonna be the same so now we grab the next string which is the green remember it's the next string that we haven't used okay so because you guys might get confused and think that the next string is a peach but we already used this right here that was like the first string that we used so it's the green one and we make two forward knots one and two then we grab the next like the other green string excuse me and two backward knots one and two then the two greens are going to be in the middle, right next to each other, so we tie them together. Always do a forward knot because it's more comfortable for me, so it's up to you. There you go. And then last step, which is the brown string, and make three forward knots. So one. Two and three. There you go. Then we grab the other brown one and two backward knots. Three backward knots. I think I said two, and then three backward knots. Like this. Again, they're together, so we tie them together. And this is it. So, you know, it's kind of weird how it ends, but that way, once you have the hang of it now you know just to keep going and keep going you don't have to keep repeating this video <laughs> so there you have it okay so now we're just back to the beginning which is with the orange chevron and that's how you complete the second diamond okay so i'm gonna continue this bracelet so i hope you guys can appreciate more this design okay so let's start or continue. <laughs> and here we have it. Here's a bracelet. You can see the chevron. It's in the background. In the foreground we have the diamonds forming all the way. So since we started with the loop Again, 
I have a video on how to make the loop. I decided to just end with the diamond, like a complete diamond, and then just make two rope braids since, you know, that's how you tie this type of bracelets with the loop. And this is it, see? So with 10 strings, that's how thick it is. It's not really that thick, but it, personally it's like one of my favorite thickness because it's not really thin either. So here we have it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please like this video. I also invite you guys to invite my Facebook page where I share some my videos, some pictures, some ideas. And it's also bilingual, so don't be upset if I post stuff in Spanish too. Okay, so this is it. If you guys would like to see more tutorials on how to make this, these beautiful friendship bracelets, then please subscribe and we will see you next time. Thank you.